This video will show you how to connect Easy Remote from your test set. The first step is to make sure that the management port of your test set is connected to the internet. So it can be either done from the Ethernet management port on your platform or through the Wi Fi Ethernet adapter. Either way, you need to acquire an IP address, and the IP address acquired is displayed on the bottom left corner of your screen. The next step is to go to Utilities, Settings, More, and access the Easy Remote icon. Click on the Easy Remote icon, and it will open up the Easy Remote connection screen. Just simply hit Apply and the test set will automatically register to the Easy Remote server maintained by VX. The registration uh, step will take about 30 seconds, and once it's completed, it will display a screen uh, giving the remote partner information in order to connect to the Easy Remote um, website. So here is the information you'll be looking for. Um, the remote user will have to connect to the easyremote.vxinc.com website and enter the following session ID when prompted to do so on the screen. The remote user will then be able to remote control your units. Once you're done with the Easy Remote session, just simply press the stop button and the Easy Remote registration will be cancelled for this test it, therefore you won't be able to connect to it anymore. When the Easy Remote is connected and active, you'll have this Easy icon on the bottom right corner of your screen, and you'll be able to see the status of the Easy Remote connection. This video shows you how to connect to the Easy Remote website from your web browser, from your PC, laptop, or cell phone. Simply open any web browser and enter the address easyremote.vxinc.com on your web browser. Press enter and you'll be taken to the web page of the Easy Remote server. Then simply enter the um, session ID that was displayed on screen on your test set in the window and press search. You will then be connected to your test set. There will be two windows that open up. Make sure that pop-up is allowed on your web browser, otherwise these windows won't be able to open. The first window is called Remote Control and allows you to remote control your test set as if you were uh, operating it directly. And the other window is called Remote Platform Access and allows you to access files that are saved on your test platform, for example, screen captures or test results. So let's first review the remote control operation. When you connect to your test set, you will see the remote test set screen that you can operate by simply clicking on the screen as if you were operating your test set directly. So open a test application just as if you were connected directly by selecting the test mode selection, to selecting your interface, and then launching the test application. Um, you can access the um, keypad of your test set by pressing on the function keys at the bottom of the screen. So let's say, for example, that you have um, uh, done a test and you want to save the results, you would simply press the save test key here and the test results will be saved um, um, will be saved to the memory. So let's quickly start a test, stop it, then press the save test key and you will be prompted to enter a name for your test results. Just enter any name, press apply, and the test results will be saved. Then go to the other tab called Remote Platform Access. Go to the link that says Results. 
and you will see listed here the test results that are already saved in the test platform. So here is the one I just saved. So you can either download it to your computer directly um, or you can PDF the file and then the PDF will be created on your computer and you can simply view the PDF later on um, here in your download folder. So these are two ways that you can uh, view or save the test results. When you are done with the Easy Remote session, you can go back to the platform Easy Remote application and press stop or have the uh, remote user press stop at the end of the Easy Remote session. Be careful once you press stop, the remote user will not be able to access the platform anymore.